My brothers and sisters, may the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshiped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I'm with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. We celebrate today the memory of the North American martyrs. Uh, they were French oblates and Jesuits who came to the New World in the mid 1600s to uh, preach the message of the gospel to the Huron and Iroquois Indians. And uh, regretfully, at the hands of the Iroquois, they all were brutally martyred. And so they've become sort of a, the, the bringing of the, the faith to this particular area of the world, close to us, near Albany, most of these things happened. The Gospel today focuses upon what Jesus' command was for the disciples, and in turn it's an ongoing command to go forth and to preach the message, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Throughout the course of the centuries, the church has done precisely that as it's moved across the entire globe, bringing the message of the Gospel to those who had not heard it, and hopefully once re-enticing again those who had heard it before, a new energy of believing in it. Both John Paul II and uh, uh, Pope Francis has been calling for a new evangelization, an awareness of the missionary activity that was once part and parcel of the church's life has to continue and in some ways is even more necessary today. Uh, unfortunately, our culture is such that many who were believers no longer practice. And so it's not only going to those who've never heard the message before, but it's going back to those who have heard it before and have forgotten it. We are called by our enthusiasm, by our energy, by our commitment to faith and by God's grace to try to do essentially the same. And the martyrdom that perhaps continues is the fact not necessarily of being brutally uh, physically martyred, but the persecution that can happen as one tries to stay true to the message despite the fact that the world around us doesn't want to hear it or ends up considering it to be second-rate uh, beliefs. Today then let's remember all those who gave their lives literally for the sake of the faith and those who continue to give their lives emotionally and psychologically and spiritually so that the faith can continue to prosper and to realize that that command and challenge that was given to the apostles that's marked in the gospel today is not just for them, it's for us as well.